In phase two of Tesla's master plan, they talked about spreading more of their electric vehicles across the entire automotive market, and that also included building heavy duty electric trucks, which we saw like the Tesla Semi, but it also included making some kind of van, or they phrased it as some kind of population dense urban transport motive that has also been referenced by county officials near Las Vegas because the Boring Company is currently only using Model X's, 3's, and Y's. Another company from Elon Musk that I think has a lot of potential. We don't talk about it much on this channel, but mainly critics of the Boring Company seem to miss the point of how affordable that type of transportation can be, particularly because of how it can be scaled. The tunnels themselves don't have to be quite as wide, and because there's individual vehicles moving people around, you can be more precise with which vehicles stop at which stations instead of having to get hundreds of people on one giant train. And yes, those big subway trains that a lot of people were suggesting the Boring Company should have done are a lot more expensive to maintain. They take a lot lot more money up front and electric vehicles have very low cost of maintenance and there was no other company that was willing to put in a bid for the Las Vegas Loop that was cheaper than the Boring Company so that's why the city went with it and one of the reasons they're excited for it is they believe that in the future Tesla will unveil a 12 person van that will be specially optimized for the Boring Company and Elon Musk has said on multiple occasions that they plan on making a van eventually but of course right now it's kind of a boring time in Tesla development because there's not a lot of of new designs being unveiled all the time. You know, we talk a lot about the $25,000 Tesla that is supposed to come out at some point in the next three, maybe five years. We don't know for sure, but I'm here in today's video talking about why that van, whether it's for the Boring Company or whether Tesla's gonna use it as their own service van, might make a whole lot more sense than making a $25,000 Tesla next. Obviously, I want both of these vehicles to hit the market as soon as possible, but bringing a 25K Tesla to the market is going to shoot up demand like crazy. Suddenly a bunch of people that have never bought Teslas before will all be putting in orders. And of course, we all know the main bottleneck with 4680 production is how can you build them at scale? How can you build them reliably and at insane volume? And I'm sure there would be a lot of demand for the Tesla van between plumbers and service vehicles or just YouTubers wanting to have a van life that's all electric and has still great range and supercharging access. But the truth is when you're running a business, having a smaller number of customers is always going to be easier than having hundreds and hundreds of customers and that's part of the reason Tesla started with the original Roadster was because they did not have the supply chain and the resources to do high volume vehicles at least initially so they started with the higher price low volume vehicles that were intentionally lower volume and I think with the scaling of 4680s the Tesla van might make a ton more sense because you're not going to sell a crazy amount of them in fact because they're vans and they'll be pitched as a commercial vehicle, they'll probably be able to charge a pretty high price for them, much higher than likely a Model Y, or maybe even higher than the base Model S because they're going to have big battery packs, but they'll have a lot of functionality, and because they're used for work and have a lot of cubic feet of cargo space, they'll be able to charge a pretty high premium on these vehicles. It will be a new design, a new Tesla we haven't seen before, and if in the early days Tesla just kind of wants to give people a feel of what this van is going to look like, or how many people it's going to be capable of sitting, just making a enough for the boring company at first it might be looked at as you know a little bit too much elon privilege that this company is getting access to things that no other company gets access to but whatever you gotta do let tesla buy out the boring company or merge the companies make company x whatever you want to do you could basically only design the first 60 vans to be optimized for the boring company so you could leave out the steering wheel and make them completely autonomous because they're on such a controlled and mapped route you won't have to figure out all the craziness of public driving on regular city streets and worrying about the weather. In the Boring Company, you could leave out things like windshield wipers and probably side view mirrors and make a very futuristic shuttle that we saw in the Boring Company's initial video that's basically good for people getting on board, getting where they need to go, and because they're electric, the cost of ownership will be very low and you can make the range exactly precisely optimized for how many miles they're gonna be driving each day. You can design the motors to be optimized for how fast these vehicles are supposed to be going. Going. And then everybody who goes through Las Vegas and takes a ride on the Boring Company Tunnel gets to see what the future of Tesla vans and higher occupancy vehicles from Tesla will look like in the future. Everybody gets to ride them and Tesla doesn't really necessarily have to mass produce them or schedule test drives. People just get to experience them firsthand. And as they ramp more 4680s and because these are vans, they'll be able to sell them at a pretty high price. Fairly low volume vehicle, I think is safe to say, likely even lower volume than the Model S. Demand won't be through 
through the roof, so Tesla's supply chains will be able to keep up with the amount of orders they're getting, and Tesla will not have to fight tooth and nail to get the price down to exactly 25000 as we know, between the Model Y standard range and the Model 3 standard range and all of Tesla's entry-level models, it becomes very difficult for them to get the price point as low as they originally promised. And of course, when you have more and more customers, that's going to be more complicated and more expensive to service and scale the supercharger network enough to accommodate all these tens of thousands of new 25k Teslas that would be hitting the markets. Obviously, for my own personal reasons, I don't need a van and I would be very much interested in Tesla making a $25,000 model because that's cheaper and then I can be closer to being able to buy one. But I could honestly say from a business perspective, it might make a whole lot more sense for Tesla to get the van out first. It would definitely help the boring company move more people faster and become a very hyper efficient transport system for a lot of different people in different demographics. The boring company is planning on bringing more transit systems to more places. And if Tesla just had to build enough for each of those tunnels at first, it would basically be free marketing for Teslas and it would get a lot of people excited for the future of electric vehicles. Tesla would not be too supply constrained and they wouldn't have to work too hard at getting the price super low. Ford has an all electric transit van in development. Rivian has one as well. And vans are going to be a huge industry that need to be transitioned over to electric. So I say the sooner Tesla gets on this, the better. And if they're willing to unveil a semi truck in 2017, then they should be fine unveiling a van in 2021, even if it's not ready for the next two to three years. I just say bring those prototypes to the boring company tunnel because they only need about 60 and they'll be able to move way more people if they can fit 12 people per van compared to what they're limited to right now, which is like three to six because there's still a driver. But because it's such a closed loop system, I don't think going autonomous will be very complicated at all. That will technically be a public level four system that Tesla would be able to brag about too. What do you guys think of the Tesla van? Is it too soon? Should they just focus on everything they've announced? Or do you think this type of vehicle might make more sense to come out before the compact? Thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.